Have you faced a condition that often wakes you up in the middle of the night with the sensation that your big toe is on fire? This condition is very common and many people suffer from this problem but its treatment is very simple. Yes, today we are going to talk about gout. Today we will see how gout develops in our body, which are the factors that increases the tendency of developing gout what are its sign and symptoms how to prevent it finally we will talk about some of its effective homeopathic remedies so if you are suffering from gout or want to get information about it then this video of ours can be very useful for you today please watch it till the last and definitely pass it on to other people who need this information disclaimer this video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Welcome to another video by Visual Designers. Myself Dr. Dimple Dalal and today we will talk about gout which is a common and complex form of arthritis. So let us first understand what is gout. Gout is a common form of inflammatory arthritis that is very painful. Perhaps you will be surprised to know that gout is not found only in the toe. It can be in any joint including elbow, ankles, fingers etc. But the most common is the gout that occurs in the toe. Now we come to the question which probably bothers you the most. Why does gout happen? Many of us would know that the cause of gout is increased uric acid. This condition is called hyperuricemia. There are many substances in our body such as carbohydrate, fat, proteins, etc. One such another substance in our body is purine. Purines perform many important functions in our body. There are two sources of purines in our body. The first is purine produced in our body. And the second is purine from dietary sources. When these purines are break down or processed in the body, they create a byproduct called uric acid. Normally, uric acid dissolves in our blood and passes through our kidneys into our urine. A perfect balance of production and excretion of uric acid is maintained in the body. But sometimes this balance gets disturbed. Logically, this balance can be disturbed in two ways. Either our body produces too much uric acid or our kidneys excrete too little uric acid. When this happens, it is obvious that uric acid can build up in the body, forming sharp needle-like urate crystals in a joint or surrounding tissue that cause pain, swelling and inflammation. Gout can affect anyone. You are more likely to develop gout if you have high levels of uric acid in your body. But naturally, some people have an increased tendency to get gout. So let us see which people are more prone to gout. To understand this, we will take the help of some risk factors. First factor is age. Gout is more common in adults and rarely affects children. The tendency to get gout also increases with increasing age. Second factor is gender. Gout occurs more often in men primarily because women tend to have lower uric acid levels. After menopause, however, women's uric acid level approach those of men. Third one is genetics. A family history of gout can increase the likelihood of a person developing the condition. Next factor is diet. Eating a diet rich in purines and drinking beverages sweetened with fruit sugar that is fructose increases level of uric acid which increases the risk of gout. Alcohol consumption also increases the risk of gout. Now comes the weight. If you are overweight, your body produces more uric acid and your kidneys have a more difficult time eliminating uric acid. Sixth factor is medical conditions. Renal insufficiency and other kidney conditions can reduce the body's ability to remove waste leading to elevated uric acid levels. 
Other conditions include high blood pressure and diabetes. Now comes medication. Certain medications can increase the levels of uric acid in the body. These include some diuretics and drugs containing salicylate. Let us see what are the signs and symptoms of gout. There are some typical symptoms of gout. The signs and symptoms of gout almost always occur suddenly and often at night and can last for days or weeks. Gout usually occurs in only one joint at a time. Symptoms in the affected joints include intense joint pain. Gout usually affects the big toe but it can occur in any joint. Other commonly affected joints include ankles, knees, elbows, wrist and fingers. The pain is likely to be most severe within the first 4 to 12 hours after it begins. Second is inflammation and redness. The affected joint becomes swollen, tender, warm and red. Third one is limited range of motion. As gout progresses, you may not be able to move your joints normally. There are times when symptoms get worse, known as flares, and times when there are no symptoms, known as remission. Repeated bouts of gout can lead to gouty arthritis, a worsening form of arthritis. Many of us do not take our body or our diseases seriously and continue to tolerate pain. So, especially for such people, now we will see what complications can occur if gout is left untreated. People with gout can develop more severe conditions such as kidney disease or recurrent gout. Kidney disease may progress to kidney failure. Recurrent gout can lead to formation of tophi on the joints and cartilage making it more difficult to move the joints, finally leading to joint damage. So now let us see how can you prevent gout. There are many lifestyle and dietary guidelines a person can try to protect against flares or prevent gout from occurring in the first instance. The most important guideline is maintaining a high fluid intake of around 2 to 4 liters a day. Next, avoiding alcohol. And the third one is maintaining a moderate weight. Individuals who are already diagnosed with gout can manage flare-ups by moderating what they eat and drink. A balanced diet can help to reduce symptoms. Decreasing foods and drinks high in purines to ensure that uric acid levels in the blood do not get too high is an important first step. Foods high in purine include red meats, glandular meats such as kidneys, livers and sweetbreads, seafoods, shellfish, alcohol, foods and drinks sweetened with high fructose, corn syrup and proteins from animal sources. Let us now discuss some of the effective homeopathic remedies for gout. There are many remedies for gout in homeopathy. But in this video, we will discuss the 5 most commonly used remedies of gout. First is Benzoicum Acidum. It cures symptoms of uric acid diathesis with a urine highly colored and very offensive and gouty symptoms. The most marked characteristic pertains to the odor and color of the urine. Gouty concretions affects all the joints, especially the knee joint. Joints crack on motion. Pain is of tearing character and there is stitching in large joints of big toe. Pain suddenly change their locality. There is redness and swelling of joints. Nodocytes in joints are very painful. Complaints aggravate in open air by uncovering at night and by motion. While complaints ameliorates by heat. Second remedy is Colchicum autumnal. This remedy has specific power of relieving the gouty paroxysm. The affected parts become red, hot and swollen. There is tearing pain in the affected part. There is inflammation of great toe and gout in heel. The affected parts are very sensitive to touch and motion. Patient screams with pain when touching the affected joint. Pain is worse in warm weather, evening and at night and is better by rest and lying down. Next comes the third remedy that is Formica Rufa. 
There is chronic gout and stiffness in joints. Right side is mostly affected. Pains appear suddenly and dart from place to place. Pains are worse by motion and are better by warmth, by pressure, after midnight and from rubbing. Let's proceed to the fourth remedy that is Ledempal. Gout begins in the lower limb and ascent. Small joints like toes, fingers, ankles, wrist are affected. Joints are swollen and hot. Inflamed parts are red and worse at night. There are painful hard nodules in joints. Patient cannot tolerate the heat of bed and wants to be uncovered. There is stiffness of joints and can only move them after applying cold water. There is aggravation from heat of bed at night and on walking. And amelioration from cold water and holding fit in ice cold water. And finally comes the fifth remedy that is lithium car. There is swelling and tenderness in small joints like fingers. Ankles pain when walking. There is stiffness and nodular swelling in joints. Complaints are worse in morning and are better by hot water. So this is our short presentation on gout. If you have found value in this video, please don't forget to like and share it with others. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so now. Please provide your valuable feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye.